It's unclear tonight just how many people were forced out of their homes by this massive fire. We've talked to a couple who say even though their units may not be damaged, they still can't get back in tonight. We're also learning this building has a history of code violations, many of them fire safety related. As fire crews worked into the night at the 25 story Harper Square Cooperative apartment building, help is here. Shakira Mason Holloway showed up with her arms full for her aunt. We keep spare clothes at my house, and now she can't get back in her unit, so I'm bringing the clothes. And because of all the smoke, um, I had a nebulizer at home. She says her aunt initially escaped to the roof and is now staying with family in another apartment in the building. She's one of many displaced from this nearly 300 unit tower after fire tore through the upper floors Wednesday morning. The wind was pushing. The fire went up vertically and it lapped from from floor to floor to floor all the way up to 24 where my firefighters gain control of it. Firefighters believe the fast moving fire started on the 15th floor and it was in unit 1508 where they found an elderly resident dead as they searched the building. I came back because I wanted to check to see how she was doing and she was okay because we have, I've been trying to call her phone. Jatan Mays is a close friend of the victim. She identified her as a retired school teacher in her 80s. A really nice person that will be missed. Nine others, including a firefighter with a minor injury, were taken to the hospital. Firefighters forced to lug their equipment upstairs when the elevator stopped working. Smoke billowing from blown out windows. The smoke detectors in the individual units are battery operated. The smoke detectors in the hallways are hardwired. Do they go off? I don't have that information right now. This fire isn't the first at Harper Square. Two years ago, another fire sent three people, including a firefighter, to the hospital. And city records show the building has failed its last seven inspections. Many of the problems cited by the Department of Buildings are fire safety related. Half a dozen violations for fire alarm tests, the most recent just last month, and other violations for doors missing fire tags and a fire pump in need of repair or replacement. The city's law department filed for an enforcement action for three violations for the door tags, the exterior masonry, and for failing to file a report for an exterior wall. That action is scheduled for a court hearing next week as residents here figure out where they go next while mourning a neighbor. It's devastating. I did get a hold of an employee here who told me they are not ready to talk with us about this fire. The Department of Buildings sent us a statement saying their inspectors were here today and they are working with the fire department on the investigation into the cause. We're live in Kenwood, Jenna Barnes, WGN News.